Okay guys, we're going to talk about how to set up a ICP monitor. So the difference between this and the ventriculostomy is this one won't drain, it'll just give you an ICP number. So I, you're going to grab the Camino and you're going to grab the NeuroCard. There's going to be somebody helping you and they're going to, I would put a pad under the patient's head just to be ready for that, maybe some goggles. Um, but somebody's going to be helping you hold that patient's head. The surgeon will prepare the site and everything and uh, place the ICP thing itself. So uh, what you're going to do is you're going to come down here and you're going to grab the intracranial access kit, which is this big box right here, and you're going to hand that to the surgeon. Um, once again, lidocaine with epi is in the Pixis if they ask for that, so you may need to grab it out of the Pixis. And then you're going to come here to this drawer, and you're going to grab this OLM kit. And that's going to have your device in it. There's also gloves in there or whatever the surgeon asks for those. So, he's the, that surgeon's going to be doing their thing. You're going to come over here and you're going to turn on your Camino. And it takes it a while to turn on, so I would do this like initially. Make sure in the back of these cards you grab the red view link box for the ICP monitor. And there's a lot of things here. Just make sure that you have the correct device on this. The only thing that needs to be connected is this portion right here with the red tip. And then just make sure this is labeled ICP. If this wasn't on here, just make sure that you activate your ICP and make sure it's labeled ICP or it won't pull over in the charting system correctly. Before the physician inserts the catheter here, they're going to connect it. <clears throat> the surgeon will do this part. They'll have this little screwdriver in their kit, and they're going to twist this until they get a zero. I don't know if it'll do it. <clears throat> but we're looking for a zero right here. This needs to be done before it is inserted into um, the brain. It may get me another. Well, it will give you a number, and they want it to get zeroed. They'll disconnect it and place the catheter, and you'll just wait. Once they get it inserted, they will reconnect this. It will be in the patient at this time. And what you're going to do is you're going to hit this synchronized monitor. It gives you 60 seconds to make these two machines talk. So you're going to come up here in that 60 seconds, and you're going to zero ICP like you would an arterial line. Once you get a zero, you can hit done. Now these two uh, machines should talk and you should be able to pull over your ICPs into your charting system. Make sure that, per the manufacturer guidelines, they want this red line in this sheath here. Um, just let the surgeon know, you know, if it would come out or whatever, but ultimately it's the surgeon's decision. Um, just make sure you're communicating where this red line is that way we know if it would come out, like if you made a mark here, sometimes people will mark on that um, catheter here, because if it would come out, then we would need to know. Once again, um, our standard says a normal ICP is between zero to 15. Um, anything greater than 20 for more than five minutes is an emergency. We probably need to let the provider know. And that's really it.